ruin my material. <laughs> For example, Brody Petrie. Um, Brody, are you here, Brody? Is Brody here? Yes. Um, Brody told me earlier this year how mum and dad have a microphone at home to call the children. Is that right, Brody? In the conversation? Yes. Sometimes people ask me if these stories are true. Brody, is this? A, you we talked about home and microphone and everything, didn't we? Yeah. There you go. He's going bright red, so he knows it's true. <laughs> So sitting next to Brody, so all the all the stories here are true. That's clear because Brody's told me now. So sitting next to Brody on a coach going to play a rugby match against yet another school so far away that it, it at least seemed to be in a different time zone. Brody told me my mum can do a Mrs. Hoffman voice. <laughs> Where's Mrs. Hoffman? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I've no idea whether it's my mum telling me to get out of bed or Mrs. Hoffman, which is, <laughs> which is annoying, because if it's my mum, I needn't move. But if it's Mrs. Hoffman and she's in our house on a Sunday making breakfast, that's weird. <laughs> so, Mark, it's your call, Susie Hoffman, honey or trunch ball. <laughs> She's here, is she? Yeah. <laughs> She's waving at me. Uh, honey, definitely. <laughs> okay, Mrs. McCulloch, are you here? <laughs> oh, you are. Great. Think very carefully about the next one. Here's the start of the ten. It's Monday lunchtime, time for send two. Some year six pupils have been sent to me for their creative writing with writer-in-residence James Campbell, organised by Mrs McCulloch. It's a special moment, an intimate moment, between headmaster and pupil. The first, a short story by Matilda Little, entitled The Bat and His Colony, a sinister tale about a headmaster who literally flies around the school by wearing his black academic gown and flapping his arms to and fro. <laughs> the next, a draft poem by Jack Muller, which went under the working title of The Drunkard Headmaster, a melancholic little piece. Oscar Balagun's poem was entitled The Headmaster Who Lost His Mind. I, I asked Oscar where he got the inspiration for his poetry from. He replied hesitantly, Mrs McCulloch said, if you ask any clever questions like that, we should all say it comes from life in all its various forms, sir. <laughs> the universal themes, growing up, the suffering of the young. But the stories and poems seem to be about only one thing, I said, Oscar. A bat-like, drunken, forgetful headmaster. <laughs> Is he a real person, I asked. Oscar hesitated. Mrs McCulloch said, if you ask that, we should say, he's a metaphor. <laughs> a metaphor for what, I asked Oscar. I'm not sure about that, he said probably still the suffering of the young. So, Mark, McCulloch. <laughs> Honey or trunch ball? And she's pointing at him. She does scare me, so it's uh, honey. <laughs> OK, you can sit down now. <laughs> Anyway, to return to my, recur my reoccurring...